Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the UCLA versus Utah college football matchup on Saturday, October 8th, 2022. Of course, it's my favorite day of the week during my favorite time of the year. It's college football Saturday. And here on YouTube, I do tons of free pick videos. So be sure to subscribe to our channel. I do free picks every day at sportschatplace.com, pickdogs.com right here on YouTube, as well as across social media and our live shows. And when you give out that many free picks, you're bound to like some games more than others. And to find out which games those are, as well as to get best bets from some of the top handicappers in the world today, head on over to our website, pickdogs.com. Click on the premium picks tab. And while you're there, be sure to use the discount code 15 off and go get 15% off all of your purchases at Pick Dogs Premium and SportsChatPlace.com Premium. But let's get to this one. UCLA taking on Utah, and this is one of the better Pac-12 matchups that you'll see. And this year, the Pac-12 seems to be an improved conference overall. Um, certainly haven't seen any team that they say is a national championship contender, but at the same time, we've got some pretty good teams, and these are two of them. UCLA 5-0 and um, coming into this one, and Utah Four and one, they lost their opener at Florida in the swamp. And while Florida hasn't had a big year following up on that, well, losing a, the opener in the swamp, really not a lot of shame in that one, especially it was a tight game that came right down to the final play. Meanwhile, when you look at UCLA, the offense ranked eighth in the nation in yard in uh, total yards and 14th in scoring, averaging over 41 points per game. Kind of very even as far as running and passing, though. Really not dominant one way or the other, but Utah's defense, they are tough as nails against the pass. Ninth in the nation, allowing just 155 yards per game. Meanwhile, when it comes to overall yards allowed, Utah, 13th in the nation. And while we look at Chip Kelly teams, and we generally say, well, offense, right? It's all about the offense with Chip Kelly. Actually, the defense on UCLA has been kind of been the leader here as well, stuffing the run to the tune of 85 yards per game. That's ninth best in the nation and the 31st best overall defense in the nation. But for, uh, for, for Utah, they've been running the ball effectively. It's kind of what they do. And they've been throwing the ball about the Utah way, which is kind of middle of the pack. But well, getting it done when they need it. And of course, with rising at QB, they got a guy that all the teammates rally around and absolutely love. And when you have that, oh man, you got a team that kind of feeds off of each other. But meanwhile, with Utah, 4-0 against the number in their last four games and 6-0 against the number when they play against teams with a winning record. And when we look at UCLA, 5-0 against the spread in their last in their last five in the Pac-12, six and two against the number in their last eight games overall. But when they play against teams with a winning record, just one and five against the number. And that's the thing about the, these two teams. Utah has played the tougher schedule of these two teams. But UCLA, you can only beat who's in front of you. And we've seen Bruins teams not be able to do that in the past. So you got to give some credit where credit is due. When we look at the head-to-head -head stuff here. The favorites covered the last four times these have met. It's been Utah. Um, covering their last four trips to the Rose Bowl taking when they're taking on UCLA and also um, the last five meetings overall. Utah has covered the spread. I think they make it six in a row here. I'm going to take Utah, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks today, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. Our betting tools are 100% free, and the way they work, they show you just how often all the bets on the board today actually hit. Then they show you today's odds, and from there, you can assess the risk-reward, putting yourself on the bets that come in the most and pay the most. That's how you make money betting on sports.